When you enter a place with so much history around it. It's heavy. He's my brother. Take one. It's kind of sacred in a way. People want to come here. They want the sound of Abbey Road. My name is Mary. Abbey Road Studios has been part of my life for as long as I can remember. So many massive records were made here. People don't believe that it was just done by accident. We're trying to get better with things like recording. This was our home. You spent so much time here. We had used a particular... There it is. From classical to pop, artists are inspired to push creative boundaries within these walls. What are you doing? It's murder. I can't keep it up. It was in the forefront of one of the biggest musical changes. The smell of Abbey Road. It's actually the smell of fear. Am I going to mess this up? <laughs> A huge part of my record collection was made in this room. There's been a year of despair for the record industry. 60s bands just aren't selling records anymore. We stayed empty for month after month. Something had to be done. We needed to move into another area to survive. Who doesn't want to do Star Wars? Suddenly, it was like opening a Christmas present. Abbey Road, it's a gift to music. When we made Dark Side of the Moon, I thought we cracked it. If it hadn't been for him, we'd have made like three albums. It encourages you to make something moving. The walls are saturated with great music. You know, if these walls could sing. <laughs>